we continue from where we stopped in our previous video. We asked whether the set of positive integers and the set of integers have the same cardinality. Turns out that the answer is yes. Set of all integers is a countable set. We know that set of all integers is an infinite set, right? And we know that to prove an infinite set is countable, we have to show that that set has the same cardinality as set of positive integers. In another words, we need to show a bijection between set of positive integers and set of integers. But we also learned that an infinite set is countable if we can list all the elements of that set in a sequence. A sequence meaning an ordered list of elements. And hence, if we can list all the integers in a sequence, then we have proved that set of integers is a countable set, right? Consider the sequence 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3, 4, minus 4 and so on. This is the sequence that we use for listing the integers. Now here the order matters. Why order matters? We know that if we can express the elements of our set S in a sequence like A1, A2, A3 and so on, then we can write A1 as F of 1, A2 as F of 2, A3 as F of 3 and so on where f is a bijection or a one to one correspondence from set of positive integers to our set s. So here when we write the integers in a sequence like 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, 3, minus 3 and so on, what we mean is that 0 is nothing but f of 1, 1 is nothing but f of 2, minus 1 is f of 3 and so on. So Instead of showing the sequence first, we can we could have alternatively defined a bijection f to show that integer set is countable. Now here we define a bijection f from set plus to set. Note that set of positive integers has both odd and even positive integers, right? So we separately define a mapping for both odd integers, odd positive integers, and even positive integers. So let's see. As we mentioned before, when we write in a sequence like 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2 and so on, the mapping goes this way. 1 is mapped to 0, 2 is mapped to 1, 3 is mapped to minus 1, 4 is mapped to 2 and so on. Alright, now, now we see how we write the function for it. The bijection is defined this way. When n is even, f of n is n by 2 where f is from set plus to set, alright? When n is even, f of n is n by 2 and when n is odd, f of n is minus of n minus 1 by 2. To prove f is a bijection, we need to show that f is both 1 to 1 and on 2. Let's prove that f is 1 to 1 here. The function is right, written this way, f of n equal to n by 2 when n is even and f of n equal to minus of n minus 1 by 2 when n is odd. Now let's take the case when n is even. Now we need to prove that f of a equal to f of b implies a equal to b, right? So suppose f of a equal to f of b, which means that a by 2 equal to b by 2, which implies that a equal to b. So when n is even, f of a equal to f of b implies a equal to b. Let's take the case when n is odd. Again we assume that f of a is same as f of b. Now what will happen? Minus of a minus 1 by 2 is same as minus of b minus 1 by 2. Implying a minus 1 equal to b minus 1 and here also a equal to b. So f of a equal to f of b implies a equal to b in all the cases. So which means that the function is 1 to 1. Now we need to prove that f is on to. To prove f is on to, we need to prove that range of this function is equal to codomain. Our codomain set is a set of integers. Okay, and the set of integers means it have both positive integers and negative integers as well as zero. Now, let's take the case of positive integers. Now, you take an arbitrary element t belonging to a positive integer from our set of integer set. Now, what will be the pre-image of t? Pre-image of t will be 2 into t. In, that will be in the domain set set plus. 
and let r be an arbitrary element in the codomain which is belonging to the set negative integer or r can even be zero so r is either a negative integer or zero now what will be the premage of r premage of r is nothing but minus 2r plus 1 which is in set plus now you can verify this from our bijection function so it means that you take any element in the codomain set we have a premage hence range is equal to codomain and the function is on to also meaning that f is both 1 to 1 and on to implying f is a bijection so we have proved that set of integers is a countable set meaning that cardinality of set of integers is same as cardinality of set of positive integers and it is also same as the cardinality of set of all odd positive integers now we ask is the set of positive rational numbers a countable set implying that cardinality of set of positive rational numbers is same as the cardinality of set of positive integers let's discuss that in our next lecture